What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Talking about Jordan Peele's Nope in this video here again today. So Jordan Peele's Nope had a test screening that occurred last night. We're going to be talking about that and some reaction that came out. Also talking about another reaction that actually came out a month or two ago. And I'll leave links to both of these in the description. And we're also going to be talking about the potential chance of this movie getting delayed because of stuff that I'm seeing coming out. Not only from people who attended these test screenings, but also coming out now on actual verified accounts on twitter like big screen leaks so shout out to you big screen leaks uh but jumping on into this in relation to what was stated about a test screening of nope now this is from a month ago this was this wasn't the one from last night but they described it as a bigger budget popcorn version of signs with sprinkles of twister and emphasis on chasing ufos popcorn fun there are no big allegories maybe you can read into the themes of how you can avoid ufo death the trailer is misleading and it is not a riff on the twilight zone episode maple street everyone was speculating about the cast of characters are mostly hollywood horse wranglers at a ranch it is very contained piece of filmmaking from peel the cut we saw felt very unpin felt very unfinished for july release vfx wise so the vfx that again was a was a thing that was an issue with that individual who saw it a month ago or two ago and the test screening that happened last night in la was done and somebody saw it and they shared their reaction over on reddit as well now these again usually have strict ndas these people are of course sharing them from accounts where i guess they think they can't be found or traced uh usually that's that's what is happening if you're sharing it on reddit of course it's not taken to your personal twitter or facebook account to share it since you signed an nda but before i get to that big screen leaks tweeted this out about the test screening that happened last night they stated, if Nope can be ready for its July release date, it'll be a miracle. For a movie that's relying on VFX very heavily, it doesn't sound like they're nowhere near completion. The problem there, that's exactly what someone said a month ago about a test screening that they saw. So the same thing seems to still be the problem a month later, or they showed the same cut last night which i don't really understand that or if it's an alteration of the cut that was shown at another previous test screening they haven't really done too much of an update in regards to the vfx and maybe it was the same cut but that might be a big reason why this movie doesn't make its release date in july now that's not to say that it's going to get pushed into the next year or anything like that if anything is going to be pushed to probably later on in the year late 2022 at best maybe around the time of before halloween kills or halloween ends releases maybe sometime after that but if it gets pushed from its july release date i don't think it's going to get pushed into 2023 over vfx if anything is going to be delayed by maybe a month or two so we'll see but someone else had a reaction because they were at the test screening last night and they chimed in on that response that someone gave to their previous test screening they said they just saw a test screening of this might be the same cut because the vfx were still very unfinished and yeah not much social commentary as far as i can tell that's not an issue for me but the simple story felt messy and paced poorly i need to see it again when it's officially recent 100 percent complete to really make it final a call on how i feel about it also science comparisons are spot on in that regard it's pretty cool now i know there might be a lot of fans of signs in night Shyamalan signs i think that movie's pretty cool myself so that is something to at least get honed in on i guess as far as like a positive from these two reactions that i found however i do just want to say that of course while they this last person of course stated it was messy and poorly paced that's not to say that the movie itself is going to be like that for all of you who sit down and watch the movie because the movie could indeed just be something that is a popcorn movie for a lot of you to just have fun with and in that regard i know a lot of people are also might be maybe just disappointed that it doesn't seem like there's going to be a lot of social commentary the thing about it though is i know in the past he stated that he had like four other social comment commentary like films he wanted to do and i think us you could say had to do with race uh us no get out had to do with race us had to do with class or classism and nope as somebody was making fun of in their first reaction i showed like how to avoid ufo death that's of course a joke but what could they what could he be talking about or trying to speak to when it relates to aliens or is he indeed just trying to put on a fun clever suspenseful alien movie that doesn't really have a lot to it other than that just being a 
a decline in his social commentary works that he's done with his last two projects so we'll see how this movie ends up being i know that for a lot of you this might not be something you want to hear as far as like the reactions i was able to find but again the reactions when it comes to test screenings are not very easy to find only because usually the people the people that are attending they tend to of course just not go on reddit or flock to reddit it's usually like especially with this one because i was told a large amount of the public were present so you have to remember when they're signing these ndas there could be a there could be several different reactions out there but the chances are they're not sharing them in all these places that you are going to be able to find them that easily so like for instance sharing them in the dms with a friend privately it's probably what a lot of them did versus sharing them on their social media accounts or instagram or anything like that i haven't been able to find too many reactions to this screening that happened last night other than that one that was in response to the first reaction to another screening that happened a couple months ago but when it comes to these test screens again there's a lot of ndas that are in place i know somebody messaged me personally and told told me they would be seeing the movie at that test screening so they of course signed an nda as well i haven't gone out of my way to badger them about it or anything like that because that's usually just how test screenings go there's a lot of nda stuff that goes into that uh now when it comes to the four vfx now from what we've seen in the teaser and the trailer or the trailer we got the first one everything looks fine as far as what i've seen now again maybe something in this upcoming trailer is going to show us some things that highlight what these people are talking about but i hope this movie can make it july release if it's delayed it seems like it's going to be mostly due to the vfx that are not finished because it seems like they also did show the same cut from the other test screening but again maybe there were some minor changes done it's just that the vfx are still not completed so this movie i guess you could say is still in the post-production when it relates to not having the vfx finished so hopefully it can make its july release if it's not able to make its july release then i think the movie itself will come out sometime in august september probably august not to put it too close to halloween ends try to give it some breathing room to kind of get a successful box office run uh do i think this is going to be jordan jordan peele's first dud no this might be his first very mixed response if anything but we'll see how it all plays out i'm very still excited for nope can't wait to see it later this summer when it comes out but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video